Hello guys, welcome to our channel, we MJ guys. In this video, I show you how to change the oil in a 2013 Dodge Charger. Even if you are a beginner, you will be able to do it after watching this video. Let's get started. Tools we need, oil pan, flashlight, 3.8 ratchet, 3.8 long extension with 24mm socket for oil filter and 13mm wrench for drain plug. A ramp, a creeper, a rag and a funnel six quarts of oil and oil filter first step open your oil cap now arrange your tools that is 3 8 ratchet with long extension and 24 mm socket for your oil filter go easy guys counterclockwise go counterclockwise before it gets off make sure you use rag because the oil filter is gonna drip some oil on your car and it can messes up go easy the next step is replace your old oil filter with a new one and the old rubber with a new one. Use this tool to take your rubber off. For new rubber, always use some oil to put it on. Dip your rubber with oil and put it on the same place as it was before. Go easy guys. Go clean. This is the place where rubber should be. All right. Now next step is use your new filter. Put it in and make sure it locks. It should lock inside. This is the lock and it should get inside. All right. Now put it back in. Now over here, we're gonna use a clockwise use the same tool that is 3.8 ratchet with 3.8 long extension with 24 mm socket go clockwise yes this is important clean it now remember when you tighten it don't over tighten it don't struggle it will damage go easy now drain your oil with 13 mm wrench before that, make sure your tray is at the same place where you think oil will drain. Counterclockwise, yeah. Oil is coming out. Clean your drain plug. Clean your hands, important. Now put the drain plug the same place. Use your hand clockwise. Same guys, when you use your wrench, 13 mm wrench, don't over tighten it, don't struggle, it will damage your drain pan, all right? When you feel like it's good now, stop it. Now pour your oil back in, that is 5W20, remember to use a funnel. And after that, reinstall your oil cap and clean it. Now we are inside, turn it on your vehicle so that we can check underneath if there is any leakage. Before you hit the road, always make sure everything should be okay. Thanks for watching guys. Love and peace.